Hello everyone, thank you for your visiting Jack Two Things website and YouTube channel. From this online seminar tutorial, I'd like to introduce what is a captively visible linear actuator and how to choose this product. Dings has four major form factors of little screw linear actuators, and the captive little screw linear actuator is the most popular product line. Let's take a look more about this product in detail. From engineering video in next slide, I hope customers can understand how captive little screw linear actuator works. Captive little screw linear actuator is mainly 1.8 degree hybrid stepper adopts little screw to become an integrated linear solution, which is enables the stepper's rotary motion transforms and the linear movement. With the use of a high performance little screw, it allows the linear actuators to provide quiet, efficient, durable, and cost effective linear motion solutions. Screw end should be directly fixed to the road. Also, motor should be fixed and well aligned with the mechanical structure since it impacts performances like thrust force, linearity, runout, and also life cycle of an actuator. Captive leader screw linear actuator is slightly different from general leader screw linear actuators like the external or non-captive. It originally comes from non-captive structure but with a high rigidity of a profile and strong inner guidance system, Captive Actuator is able to provide high performances and it can compete against the servo cylinders. Dings Captive Little Screw Linear Actuator comes in six different sizes ranging from a square frame 20mm to 60mm or NEMA size from 8 to 24. Dings Captive Little Screw Linear Actuator has NEMA size 8, size 11, size 14, size 17, size 23, and size 24. Here are general specifications of Dings Captive Little Screw Linear Actuator. Dings uses a 303 stainless precision cold rolled little screw. Screw accuracy and straightness is 0.18mm and 0.15mm based on 300mm lengths each. Screw efficiency is from 35 to 85 percent, but it depends on the pitch of the little screw. Please carefully operate Dings Captive Little Screw Linear Actuator following temperature guideline in operation and storage. General screw backlash is 0.01 to 0.1 mm. Typically, Dings guarantees a few millions of life cycle, but please don't forget it depends on the load speed, and operation environment. Many customers ask what is the stroke range things can adopt for captive little screw linear actuator, and surely it depends on size of motor. As you see this table, for small steppers like a NEMA 8, things has totally 6 different stroke as customer selection, from minimum 9mm, which is 0.35, and maximum 38.1mm, which is 1.5 inch. One thing customer has to be careful when you choose captive little screw linear actuator. Please convert the millimeter based stroke into inches. For example, if you desire to have a 25.4 millimeter stroke, it is equivalent to 1 point inch. For part numbering, it is going to be 100, which stands for 1.00 inch. In case of a NEMA 11, Dings also has a totally 7 different stroke as a customer selection from minimum 12.7mm which is 0.5 inch and maximum 63.5mm which is 2.5 inch. In case of a NEMA 14, Dings also has a totally 7 different stroke as a customer selection from minimum 12.7mm which is 0.5 inch and maximum 63.5mm which is a 2.5 inch. In case of a NEMA 17, Dings also has totally 7 different strokes as a customer selection from minimum 12.7 mm which is a 0.5 inch and maximum 63.5 mm which is a 2.5 inch. In case of a NEMA 23, 
Things also has a totally 7 different stroke as customizable selection from minimum 12.7mm which is 0.5 inch and maximum 63.5mm which is 2.5 inch. In case of a NEMA 24, Dings also has a totally 7 different stroke as customizable selection from minimum 12.7mm which is 0.5 inch and maximum 63.5mm which is 2.5 inch. Once again, please be careful to convert the millimeter based stroke into inches. For example, if you desire to have a 25.4 mm stroke, it is equivalent to 1.00 inch. And for actual part numbering, it is going to be 100, which stands for 1.00 inch. I hope now you have a better understanding of a captive leader screw in your actuator, and let me tell you more about customization options what Dings can offer you. Dings provides a wide range of encoder options for a captive leader screw in your actuator. If customer wants, Dings is able to make a captive leader screw in your actuator as an encoder ready too. It means there can be rare shaft and encoder mounting holes according to customer's requirements, but also Dings freely allows the customer to choose encoders according to their mechanical size, the way of a signal output, and resolution. Things offers totally 5 different kinds of encoders for captive leader screw linear actuator. If a stroke of captive leader screw linear actuator gets longer, as you see this video, encoder should be hollow shafted to let the screw go through. Please take care of your, your stroke selection and which encoder can be selected. For more details, please visit our website and freely choose your encoder option. Things offers common purpose of a power off brake for captive leader screw linear actuator, especially motorcycle NEMA 14, 17, 23, and 24. For vertical applications or holding motors from sudden power off status, brake is strongly required. All series of Things brakes are DC 24 volt based magnetic brake and a maximum 2 millions of cycles guaranteed under very low noise at the 60 decibel. For simple positioning, customers frequently require manual knob positioning. Things also provide a hand knob for top table leader screw linear actuator, presetting, origin movement, or other usage. Manual knob is very convenient for most of our customers, especially for lever trade, optics, laser, also motorized positioning stage applications. Based on basic understanding of Dings Captive Leader Screw Linear Actuator, let's try to choose actuator together. However, there are still a couple of things I have to highlight all of you for an appropriate product selection. Let's take a look few more steps for actual product selection. It is a very basic step, but still many customers are not clear on this. According to Dings technical guideline for Captive Leader Screw Linear Actuator with thrust of force, as a maximum and recommended. Please choose proper motor size in advance. This is the first step to choose an actuator. As you select the size of a motor, now it's time to choose a little screw. There is actually about force and speed requirement. As you can see, there are many technical factors customers have to deeply consider and calculate, but if there is any questionnaire, please feel free to contact Dings or our local distributors. According to your application or concept of design, you can simply find out proper leader screw between speed and thrust force relationship. Based on different motor size and stack, you can check out thrust force curve and select the leader screw code. One thing I would like to emphasize is, please consider to take a maximum of 50% of a safety margin to choose a leader screw. It may give you different leader screw, even motor selection from the beginning but it is a very important step to select the right capacity of actuator with the safety, so please be careful on this step. Dings Captive Leader Screw Linear Actuator of a Leader Screw is a Serial 3 Stainless Precision Cold Rolled Leader Screw. Screw accuracy and straightness is 0.18mm and 0.15mm, each based on 300mm length. Screw efficiency is from 35 to 85%, but it depends on pitch of a leader screw. 
Dings controls all of the screw manufacturing process in our facility. If you completely choose a leader screw, please consider how to fix the screw into your mechanical structure. To guarantee best performance of a captive leader screw linear actuator, screw end should be properly fixed. To do this, please consider what kind of a screw end machining option you are going to choose from our selection. And if you want to specially customize end machining, please provide your request as a drawing, and our engineering team will immediately check and review to make it come true. Fixity of a screw end is a very critical factor customer has to consider because as you can see this table, different type of screw end fixity impacts rigidity of a customer's system. So if possible, please assemble captive leader screw linear actuator as strongly supported either or fixed. Captive leader screw linear actuators should be installed to load directly. Please follow Dean's technical guideline for better performance of a captive leader screw linear actuator. Dean's website provides online product selection tool for captive leader screw linear actuator. Please watch the upcoming video and it will help a customer how to utilize the product configuration program. Please go to selection guide and you can drag down to see product configurator. Please click to get into this program. You can see different NEMA size of motor selections and as an example, let's choose a NEMA 17. NEMA 17 has four different form factors and let's click captive version. NEMA 17 has a single and double stack of motor lengths and let me try to select a double stand motor. And you can freely choose a standard stroke of a captive leader screw linear actuator. Let me choose a 1.00 inch stroke as an example. For screw and machining options, I choose a metric end, but surely you can choose other options too. NEMA 70 motor has three different motor windings as a 0.5, 1.2, and 2.5 ampere. Let me click 1.2 ampere as an example. NEMA 17 motor has 11 different kinds of little screws and please choose whatever you want. But please remember 50% of a safety margin when you choose a little screw from our thrust force curve. From this program, I chose K screw lead. As an option, do you want to take an encoder? I'm saying yes, definitely I need an encoder. Let me choose an encoder and resolution. Also in addition, signal output and index or non-index. Then finally you can bring out part number and click the button. Your part number selection will be automatically emailed to the right person to contact you. Thank you for watching this Copy Leader Screw Lean UX online seminar tutorial. For more information, please visit Ding's website www.dingsmotion.com.